here is your next question okay the next question says which of the following is equivalent to four years and six months and the options are option A 48 months option B 54 months Option C, 52 months and option D, 10 months. Okay. So, we all know that one year has got 12 months. So, now they are asking us 4 years and 6 months. So, now we know that one year has 12 months. So therefore, 4 years is equals to 12 into 4, which is equal to 48 months. Now they are asking us 4.6 years. So which means 48 plus 6, which will be equal to 54 months. Okay. So where can you find that? Yes, option B. Option B, 54 is the right answer. Clear? Shall we move to the next question? The next question says, Rajesh took three hours, 28 minutes, for shopping and 4 hours 56 minutes to do his homework. How much time did he spend? Did he spend for the two activities? Okay, and your options are option A, 7 hours, 14 minutes, option B, 7 hours, 24 minutes, option C, 8 hours, 24 minutes, And option D, 8 hours and 14 minutes. So, did you understand the question children? So, here they are asking that Rajesh has done two activities. So, he takes 3 hours 28 minutes for shopping and 4 hours 56 minutes to do his homework. Now, since the question is asking in the mixture of hours and minutes, it is first uh, correct for us or we will first convert it into minutes and then we will convert it back to hours. Okay. So now 3 hours 28 minutes can be written as how much? So we know that 1 hour has got how much? 60 minutes. Right. So 3 hours and 28 minutes can be written as
3 into 60 plus 28. Okay. So, how much is that? 3 into 60 is 60 into 3, which is 6 3 is 18 plus 28. So, 8, 8 plus 2, 10, 1 plus 1, 2. So, which is equal to 208 minutes. Okay. Now, 4 hours and 56 minutes can be written as 4 into 60 plus 56, which will be equal to 60 into 4, which is 240 plus 56. 6, 4 plus 5, 9 and 2. So, you have 296 minutes. Okay, so now we will find out how much time is taken by both of them. Okay, so now here shopping took Rajesh 208 minutes and homework took him 296 minutes. Okay, so therefore total time taken will be how much we need to add. So, 8 plus 6 is 14, 1 plus 9 is 10, 1 plus 2 is 3 and 3 plus 2 is 5. So, 504 minutes. So, 504 minutes how can you write? Now, we need to convert it into hours and minutes. Okay. So, now we will divide this 504 by 60. Okay, so you know that 6 into 8 is how much? 48, right? So, 8, 480, 4 and 10 minus 2 is, 10 minus 8 is 2. So, which means that 8 hours and 24 minutes. Okay, so 5 not 4 minutes can be written as 8 hours and 24 minutes. Minutes. Where can you find this option? Option C. So, option C is my right answer. Clear? So, ready children, did you understand this type of question? First, you need to convert it in totally in minutes or in the months, whichever is asked and then you need to find the final answer by dividing by the respective number. Clear? Shall we move to the next one? So, here is your next question. The next question asks you, how many minutes are remaining when 620 minutes are expressed in hours and minutes. Okay? And your options are A10, B30, C40, and D, 20. So, here it is an easy question. What they are asking is how many minutes are remaining when 620 minutes are expressed in hours and minutes. So, here they are not asking how many hours are there. They are only asking that what is the remaining balance which is taken as minutes. So, what we will do? We will divide the 620 by 60 because we know that 1 hour has 60 minutes, right? So, 62 which means it will go 1 time, then 6, 60 and in 20 it will go 0 times, right? So, which means that 620 minutes has got how many? Yes, so this is the hours and this is the minutes. So, now the question is asked how many minutes are remaining? They never asked us about the hours, they only asked how many minutes are remaining. 
So, how many minutes are there remaining children? 20. Where can you find it? Option D. So, option D 20 is your right answer. So, understood the questions? Shall we move to the next pattern of question? 